everywhere. You are always one step ahead of us. You're not the only genius in this car. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking betrayals on teen dramas. If you're gonna get angry at somebody, you get angry at me. It's not I don't think you're in any position to talk about what's fair. You were my best friend. I still am. <laughs> Finding that a little hard to process right now. For this list, we'll be looking at the most dramatic and unforgivable betrayals from some of our favorite teen shows. Caution, this list is one spoiler after another. Could you forgive and forget? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Lola's Fling with Francis. Rain. Is it ever okay to sleep with your best friend's true love, even if she dumped him for his brother? Rain follows a teenaged Mary Queen of Scots at the French court. In the first season, Mary believes that if she marries Prince Francis, he'll die. Nostradamus made a prophecy. You just have to go with it. You are throwing away everything we had for superstition. Nostradamus knows nothing. You know that I love you. In a misguided attempt to save her betrothed's life, Mary manages to have the prince declared illegitimate and arranges to marry his brother, Bash, instead. Angry and in exile, Francis falls into the arms of Lola, Mary's favourite lady-in-waiting. We can't. Mary is no longer a part of my life. Like it or not, she's made her decision. And I'll never see her again. The girls work through the betrayal and Mary and Francis reunite. I protected you! I have been a good and loyal friend and what were you? It was one night. I made a mistake. It was a choice. We all make choices. We don't all have choices. But with a royal bastard on the way, it's not so easy to forget as to forgive. Number 9. Emma Dates Peter Degrassi, The Next Generation Degrassi, The Next Generation took on the subject of intimate image sharing, which sounds ahead of its time. But the handling of this storyline feels more dated than Peter's recording equipment. Manny is drunk and in a bad place when she lets the new boy, Peter, film her topless at a party. I'm going to be an actress, like Academy Award winning. And you can sell this for a million dollars because I'm going to be famous. When she later rejects his advances, Peter takes it badly and sends the tape to the entire student body. You didn't answer my question. When are we going out? Peter, I am never going to go out with you. I don't like you. To say the truth, I think you're a freak. He gets no real punishment while she has to do some apologizing. To make things worse, her best friend Emma starts sneaking around with the guy. Emma knows exactly what he did to Manny, but it doesn't seem to bother her. This feels like a huge betrayal. Quit the hero act, Peter. You're not fooling anyone. We all know you're scum. Gonna be late for gym. Number 8, Pacey and Joey's secret relationship, Dawson's Creek. Sneaking around was the order of the day in Dawson's Creek season 3, when Dawson's two best friends began a secret liaison behind his back. Don't you ever get tired of talking? No. No, well, I, I don't get, get tired. tired. Well, I don't know why. I don't want to talk anymore. What are you trying to say, Joe, Pacey? Why are we standing? There's I don't comfort. Dawson and Joey had been set up from the beginning as the show's star-crossed lovers. When she dumped him to go and find herself, Dawson asked Pacey to look out for her. You know me, okay? In a, in a way that nobody else besides Dawson ever has. We're not talking has, about so Dawson right now. We're talking about me. I mean, you can't keep on doing this to doing me, Potter. what? What, so I count on you and I tell you secrets? But he wasn't expecting true love to blossom. Although we can't get enough of Joey and Pacey, it has to be said that they went about this totally the wrong way. Wait, 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 wait. What? We gotta tell him, Joe. If we do, we gotta tell him as soon as possible because the longer we wait, Joe, the worse it gets. They couldn't tell Dawson the truth, and he eventually found out through a third party. You know, don't you? Yeah, I know. So were you planning on telling me, or was this just going to be a secret fling? It's not like that. But how was it, Joey? Because Jenna was a little short on details. Although they all made up eventually, the friendship between the two boys was never quite the same again. Number 7. Cassie hooks up with Nate. Euphoria. As you can tell from this list so far, the best friend and the boyfriend, or girlfriend, is an overused trope in teen dramas. I had no idea how hard your life was, Lexi. Can we give a round of applause for how hard Lexi's life is? Woo! 
but it shows no signs of disappearing. In season 2 of Euphoria, we saw another friendship destroyed when Cassie Howard had sex with Nate Jacobs. It was just three weeks and three days since her best friend's breakup. Maddie's relationship with Nate had been toxic, bordering on emotionally abusive. But Cassie went there anyway. Of course, the secrets soon got out. What are you talking about? Oh, I just, I, I saw her get in his truck and then kiss him and drive off. That was like, what, like a, like a month ago? The final confrontation between the girls got a bit physical, but the worst part came afterward. Where they'd once been close as sisters, they were left estranged. And for what? They broke up with me before I even went on that stage. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. Is Maddie's parting shot a threat or a warning? Number six, Mona is revealed as A. Pretty Little Liars. As Pretty Little Liars original A, Mona got the classic villain arc. Oh my god. It's fun. I got one too. I'm still here, bitches. And, and I, I know everything. everything. A. Rejected by the popular crowd and mistreated by Alison, the Queen Bee, the nice girl turned to the dark side. Alison mysteriously disappeared, while Mona re-established herself with her old friend Hannah and got popular. Where there's Hannah, there's Mona. That's Mona? Can you believe it? Wow, talk about a makeover. Then the threatening text began to appear, simply signed A. Mona wasn't always the liar's favourite person, but they never suspected her of stalking, kidnapping and concocting evil plans. Because you're A. Congratulations, Spencer. You figured it out. Hannah genuinely believed that Mona was in her corner, but all the time, she was acting as her arch nemesis. Number 5. Julie sleeps with her daughter's ex, the OC. Sleeping with your best friend's ex is one thing, but starting an affair with your teenage daughter's first love? Surely that's a step too far. time, Marissa and Luke's relationship evolved into a friendship, but when he took up with her mother, he was definitely still the ex. Not only that, he was Marissa's first long-term boyfriend and the person she lost her virginity to. I can't believe they were at a motel. It's just, it's so cheap, it's so tawdry. Yeah, that's the real moral of the story here. It was a recent breakup, which ended when Luke cheated with Marissa's friend. Clearly, Luke was also in the wrong, but he was still in school and Julie was a grown woman. Luke, it's hey, over. Okay. I'm done having sex with Julie Cooper. Just... Marissa. Basically, everything about this was problematic. Number four, Damon kills Lexi, the Vampire Diaries. He might be most people's favorite Salvatore brother, but Damon has done a lot of bad things. Why are you so mean to me? Uh, have you met you? You're not a nice person. Well, because I'm a vampire. But you're only the bad parts. Teach me to be good. Remember when he was abusing Caroline? Or that time he snapped Jeremy's neck? Luckily for Damon, his friends are very liberal with their forgiveness, and his brother Stefan is usually there to pick up the pieces. You okay? I don't think the sheriff suspected anything. Jeremy had no memory at all. All he knew was what Damon made him know. Thank you. You'd think he'd have some boundaries when it came to Stefan, but no. And we're not talking about the whole Elena thing. Lexi was Stefan's best friend of many centuries, but her death proved useful in one of Damon's evil plans. So he put a stake through her heart. Why? It's part of the plan. It wasn't very nice of him, but it shouldn't be surprising either. Number three, Chuck trades Blair for a hotel. Gossip Girl. Chuck and Blair were everybody's favorite Gossip Girl couple. 
The mean girl and the bad boy seemed like a perfect match. But there was more to Blair than we first thought. And as the series progressed, we started wondering whether Chuck really deserved her. So if someone does something awful, but it's for love, is it okay? If you are crossing some moral line to best Jack Bass, then probably not. Blair had already been the victim of the show's first big betrayal, when Serena slept with Nate, back at the very beginning. How'd you find out? Nate told me. At least he felt he owed me to tell the truth. I don't know what to say. Don't bother saying anything. But this was worse. Chuck and Blair were in a long-term, committed and loving relationship when he was forced to choose between his girlfriend and his hotel. I don't understand. If you don't want me, then why did you set this up? I told Chuck I'd take either you or the hotel. He chose to give me you. And he chose the hotel. To save it, Chuck attempted to manipulate Blair into sleeping with his uncle, knowing that she'd do anything to help him out. It was pretty unforgivable. You said you would stand by me through anything. This Blair is anything. I never thought that the worst thing you would ever do would be to me. Number two, Dan shoots Keith, One Tree Hill. Sibling bonds can be fraught with jealousy, but when Dan shot Keith in the hallway of Tree Hill High School, nobody saw it coming. Dan's resentment towards his older brother had been building for years. Keith, if I could take him back. Well, you can't. I think we both know that. I'm so sorry. For that day, and every day before it. Keith was married to Dan's ex and raising Dan's son, Lucas. When Dan's own marriage fell apart and the son he raised himself filed for emancipation, his jealousy only increased. When a troubled student brings a gun to school, Keith tries to talk him out of taking his own life. Please. Please. When he fails to save the boy, Dan approaches. He shoots his own brother in cold blood and lets the student take the fall. Although he later turns himself into the police and is forgiven by Keith on his deathbed. My name is Dan Scott. I killed my brother. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Justin does nothing. 13 Reasons Why. Justin Foley is the only person in the first season of 13 Reasons Why to get two tapes. That girl had two chances that night. But we both let her down. That's because he doesn't just betray Hannah, he also betrays Jessica. When Justin leaves Jessica alone and drunk at a party, Bryce goes in after him. Although Justin makes an attempt to stop the assault, he doesn't try to get help. Afterward, when she's struggling with flashbacks, he lies to Jess until it becomes too much to bear. Look, I get it. You were trying to protect your friend, so you lied to Jessica and you told her Hannah made the whole thing up. I did? So I guess it's my word against Hannah's, huh? Exactly. So the one witness is dead and Bryce will get away with it and you can stop protecting him. Justin isn't an evil person, but he's part of a toxic high school culture where the objectification of girls and young women is still rife and sexualized mistreatment is an increasingly prescient issue. That's just what they do to girls at our school. I mean, I found these just this morning in my math class. Uh, 13 Reasons Why shined a light on this, and the Hannah Justin storyline was painfully effective. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.